Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. The coronavirus disease 2019 is a new strain that was discovered in 2019 and has not been previously identified in humans. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are transmitted between animals and people. It is droplet infection. Droplet means when I cough or sneeze, when you cough or sneeze, droplets come out. And these droplets, when they drop on you or drop on a surface, and then you touch the surface like this. And then you touch your mouth, your nose or your eyes because these are mucous membranes. They are wet surfaces. Then you transfer the virus into your body and it finds a place of survival. On Friday, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic due to the number of cases that have been recorded in several countries. The Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, says there will be an increase in the numbers of deaths, registered cases and affected countries. In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13-fold. And the number of affected countries has tripled. There are now more than 118,000 cases in 114 countries and 4,291 people have lost their lives. Thousands more are fighting for their lives in hospitals. Dr. Tedros, however, noted that the description pandemic should be carefully used due to the impact it may cause. If misused can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over, leading to unnecessary suffering and death. We have never been before seen a pandemic sparked by a coronavirus. This is the first pandemic caused by a coronavirus. Africa still has the least number of cases, with many of them being imported to the affected countries. Kenya, Rwanda and Democratic Republic of Congo have all reported cases of coronavirus. Minister for Health Dr. Jane Rutha Cheng says Uganda is at a very high risk for importation of coronavirus. For many reasons. Tourism. Uganda has always been voted the best tourism destination. So we get tourists. When you contract the virus, it takes a maximum of 14 incubation days before the actual illness. Fever, cough, a running nose, sneezing, general body weakness, loss of appetite, just like any flu would present. For this particular coronavirus, when you get the infection, in some people it may progress to a lung infection and then pneumonia. Some groups will improve from the pneumonia, others will progress and die. With the available research, Dr. Acheng says they are now able to show the risk of dying from coronavirus disease, according to age group. Currently, there is no death record of children from 0 to 9 years. Then we have 10 to 19 years, only 0.2 percent will usually die. Then we have 20 to 29, again 0.2 percent. 30 to 39, 0.2 percent. So you can see that the age group up to 39 years. These are people with very good immunity. They will fight. They usually fight. 40 to 49, only 0.4 percent. So the people in my age group, are the ones who are, are in trouble. Those 50 to 59, 1.3% will die. 
and 60 to 69, that is the age group where we have 3.6 percent, 70 to 79, 8 percent, and then 80 plus, nearly 15 percent. The health ministry has been dealing with falsified information about COVID-19 and police in Kayunga district has since arrested two people for illegally vaccinating people against the disease. Dr. Cheng maintains that there is no cure for now. The rumors that you're hearing, that you take vitamin C, it won't help. That you eat garlic, those are rumors. When you fall sick, the treatment is supportive. Supportive means we rehydrate you and we treat the other attendant infections because you may get a certain bacterial infection that will make your pneumonia more severe. So we treat that. However, an antidote is in the making and could be available in the near future. The researchers are doing their work. There are those that are now doing trials. When a research is done, several trials are done in animals and then in the human race. So if we are to get a vaccine for COVID-19, it may be around this time next year because human trials have to be run. For now, the public is urged to follow guidelines from the Ministry of Health on preventing COVID-19. Walter Mwesije, NTV. <laughs>